What's Cooking with Mr. LP. So what's cooking tonight is tomatoes and brie. So way back when, when I was teaching, my friends and I used to get together on um, after school in the evening for dinner. And one of the uh, popular recipes that came out of that dinner, and I think it came from my friend Amy, and um, it was tomatoes and brie. So you have plum tomatoes, brie, olive oil, plenty of garlic, salt and pepper, mix it in a bowl, and you've got your sauce. What you mix it with is angel hair, any kind of pasta that you really, really enjoy. So, let's get started. First, we're gonna dice the plum tomatoes. Oh, I forgot one ingredient. The fresh basil. First thing I'm gonna do is just prep the garlic. So I've gotta get these big cloves of garlic peeled and ready to mince up. I'm gonna crush them in uh, with a, a device so you'll see. So I'm gonna get those ready. I'm gonna slice the tomatoes. So I've got six cloves of, cloves of garlic ready. I'm just going to crush this garlic crusher. I'm gonna crush and I'm gonna add them to the bowl. See how it comes out there? It's pretty cool. There's my camera mount when I need them. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. Now I had one of these um, garlic presses from Joseph before, the first one, it was a plastic one. Guess what, didn't make it. My first clove of garlic, that, that, that um, device cracked right in half. So took it back, I got this nice stainless steel one. The stainless steel one is worth the money. It's a beautiful product. Crushes up that garlic beautifully. Look at all those fresh pieces of minced garlic. And I love a lot of garlic. And lots of garlic. So we're gonna crush that up and I'll show you how it looks. Then I'm gonna add the olive oil, cut up the tomatoes. All right, on my same board full of garlic juice and oil, I'm gonna slice up my plum tomatoes. All right, so I like to uh, slice them in half. Uh, let's get that knife. Let's get that knife ready. My steel keeps the blade sharp. Keeps it slicing nicely. Uh, Hold on there, someone's calling. So the knife is ready. Slices through very nicely. I just like to take the little stem tips off. It's a beautiful tomato and the pasta water's boiling. So I'm gonna throw the pasta in. And it says three to five minutes. I'm gonna give it three because I want it to really soak up the juices of the garlic and olive oil and basil and the brie. Angel hair pasta cooks very quickly, so I've got my other colander out. Get these tomatoes out, and that angel hair cooks very quickly. Now I'm going to continue to slice up the tomatoes. Get those ready for me. All right, I have the beautiful plum tomatoes and garlic in one bowl. Now I'm going to add some things, all right? I'm going to add a little olive oil. Again, this recipe is to taste. You're not going to taste it unless you come over. Uh, but you have to taste to see how things are. Um, I might have done eight Roma tomatoes. Um, what did I say? Five or six cloves of garlic all crushed up. Now I'm just going to add some olive oil so it makes it look like a nice sauce. Uh, maybe it's a quarter cup. Maybe it's a half a cup. A little salt and pepper. I'm going to let that, I'm going to mix that up and let it like sit for a little bit as I'm chopping up the brie. I'm just gently slicing off the white of the brie skin so that I can then chunk up the soft brie and add it to our sauce here. So just gently slicing off the brie. I don't have to get every piece. It won't kill you to have a little bit of this, this white skin covering. Okay. Now I just cut the cheese in chunks 
and mix it in with to the olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper. And then I'll put the basil in after it comes out because I'm gonna microwave it for a little bit just to soften up the cheese and make it go into a little bit of a um, little smooth sauce. All right, the brie is on the top. Just gonna stir it in. Add a lid. And the lid is just a simple dinner plate. Microwave it up. While that's uh, working in the microwave for about three minutes, I'm going to just shred up some of my basil leaves. Don't they look beautiful? Oh my goodness. Mm, I love the smell of basil. I'm just going to take some of the leaves, just gently tear them by hand into kind of medium, medium slices or chunks. Not exactly chiffonade. I'm just going to slice them up. Tear them up. So that I can mix them all in and get a nice basil flavor. Tomatoes and breeze coming out. I'm gonna mix it up. Oh yeah, yeah. Sauce is a little smooth. Looks like it needs a little more mixing. And look, it has like a, a rich, thick tomato and breeze sauce. I think that might be about it. I might put it in for 20 more seconds. Looks like we might be ready for our first taste test. So there's the smooth tomatoes and brie. I'm gonna add in my basil, do a little on top, mix that in. Mmm, smells delish. More basil. It's time for a taste test. Just want to get a little tomato, a little cheese, a little bit of basil. Mm. Oh, the garlic hits you right at the back there. Delish. A little more salt and pepper. Get the Parmesan cheese ready and I'll get the pasta. I love some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. So what I'm going to do is just grate it right here to put on the top. I'm afraid in a separate bowl because I just like to put on generous heapings of Parmesan cheese. All right, so there's my bowl. And let's come over and get some pasta. There's my pasta. I'm gonna add some of the tomatoes and brie on the top. That's the sauce. Mm. Sprinkle it, a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan or a beautiful portion of freshly grated Parmesan. And if you're having company, serve it with a nice crusty bread. Add a side of basil for garnish. It looks beautiful. That's what's cooking with Mr. LP, tomatoes and brie. Let's test it out. Angel here's a nice thin pasta. Tomatoes are light, garlic is delish. And um, my friend Amy came up with this recipe and we all used to meet, Michelle, Shannon, Amy, myself. Had some tomatoes and brie, watch party five. Life was good. And delicious.